Hello, my name is Brad Pickett, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to properly write and apply a suppression list on the PFSense platform for the Snore Intrusion Detection System. Here you see we're at our login screen for our router. We're going to go ahead and log in. So after you're logged in, let's go to Services and go to Snort. And let's go to the alerts tab and you see all these no content length um, another one is double decoding attack and this happens when you're browsing legitimate websites such as Facebook or shoutcast or myspace and you'll notice all of a sudden that the website you were browsing stops responding and it's because snort is blocking it so in order to remedy this what we have to do is we have to go to services and then go to snort and then go to alerts and you'll see the alert description and you'll also notice this SID and if you've read the man pages they you probably read a lot about this SID well here th this is what it is it's real it's real easy the 120 is the, the thing that detected it in snort 120 I don't know what that is you can look it up in the man pages if you want um, I don't really care and at this point it doesn't really matter we know it's 120 and this is the specific rule um, and this the sensor that had detected it and the one is the revision number the revision number doesn't really matter for what we're doing today so what we want to do is we want to copy and paste this information into wordpad maybe so we can come back to it or writing the rule uh, the suppression rule so what we do after we've done that is we go to suppress and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new suppression list and I'm going to call it whitelist it doesn't really matter what you call it the only thing here in the name is you can't have any spaces so it has to be all put together so make it simple and rememberable um, what we do here is you probably read in the man pages about this suppress gen ID sig what that's talking about is that um, SID we uh, were just talking about 10 seconds ago this is where it comes into play what you want to do is you want to type suppress s-u-p-p-r-e-s-s -E -S, the gen underscore ID is the 120 that's the first number and then the sig ID is the second number that um, we came across let's just check what that is oh it's a three okay so coming back here to the alerts tab what we want to do is recheck the SID because I didn't write it down okay so it's 123 one remember the one doesn't matter at this point it's just the revision number so we type in suppress gen ID 120 comma sig ID and that was a three right yeah so with that being done you can just copy and paste this one here um, and paste it down here and just put in the numbers it doesn't really matter uh, I would probably leave this out because we don't want it to detect this rule at all for any host because every web server has a different IP so we're just gonna ignore that at this point and then what we do is we click Save and this is what was driving me nuts for weeks until I actually posted in the form and someone actually responded to me and it says in the man page create a suppression list and then restart snort or re restart the interface I like to restart snort completely um, I'm not gonna do it but I suggest you do do it um, after we do this the second part of this and this is what everyone doesn't do and that's what was driving me nuts because I couldn't figure it out myself was we go back to snort and we go into the interface that's causing the alert and then what you have to do is you have to come down here into suppression and filtering you have to select your list that you had just created in that it's not a white list it's a suppression and filtering list and it's selected there so what we're gonna do is click Save 
and then restart snort completely um, if it doesn't uh, restart quickly just wait it's restarting on your router depending on how fast your router is I have a Celeron 2 gigahertz laptop it's not very fast it takes a minute to restart everything so be patient don't click it twice um, if you are unsure if the page reloaded or not just come back here to the pfSense button and just click it again if it stopped then just restart it and then you should never ever have this problem again and the same thing goes with the double decoding attack I don't know what the SID on that is because I created a, a big rule set um, a couple of weeks ago and uh, so that should solve your problem with the double decoding attack and, and the no content length um, issue that a lot of websites are causing uh, Snort to alert on. Again, I'm Brad Beckett, and I hope th this was very helpful.